known as the first lady of football. Lydia Nsekera holds one of the most powerful positions in football. She made history when she was elected as FIFA's first woman executive. She recalls the moment she was elected. When I heard the results at the Congress, two things came to mind, Burundi, then my mother. This is because my mother practically raised me when my father was imprisoned until I was 30 years old. Nsekeras headed Burundi's football association for nine years. Many say the sport took a positive turn during that time. After the war, players had abandoned the country for Rwanda and the DRC. When I came in, my objective was to ensure we begin competing in tournaments and to make the player transfer process easy. Transfers. But a lack of funding and capacity remain huge challenges. When a woman gets to such a position in football, it is not by luck, but because she knows her trade. The FA president, however, cannot bring change alone and needs the government's help. Nsekera hopes she can uplift Burundian football. And with her new high-profile job, she's certainly in the position to do so. News that moves. ENCA.com.